Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. And today we'll be talking about the Florida 2020 election results. It's the biggest battleground of the election by North Carolina, in my opinion. Uh, so, um, I don't, okay, I'm kind of, uh, not in the, po I've just spent the, the past, um, I've been doing some school stuff, so I was about to stay, uh, say stuff, uh, not related to politics, but, uh, I need to switch my brain to politics now. So, Florida, uh, again, we don't know the vote totals yet, we don't know whether these votes are for Biden or for Donald Trump, but we're gonna take a look at our, um, at our mail-in votes requested, 45% from registered re registered Democrats, 31% for registered Republicans, 24% from other. These could be independents, libertarians, non-party affiliates, whatever. So first, we're going to take a look at the best indicator. Uh, how many have been returned? Democrats are overperforming. They're, uh, so far, they have returned 47%. Uh, of of the ballots, uh, whereas they only requested forty five percent, so they're having a higher turnout rate than the Republicans, or excuse me, they're having a, or they're having a higher turnout rate than the Republicans so far, but the Republicans are also performing their uh, numbers. So the independents or others are uh, not having as high turnout. So, but right now this is a big win for the Democrats. You know they have to be ahead by double digits in the early votes for, for it to look good for them, and they're doing just that. They're ahead by fourteen in Florida right now. Um, so, so now we take a look. So, if forty-seven percent are from registered Democrats, let's see the age. Good news for them. These are a lot of six Donald Trump won the sixty-five and over ca category by what seven percent? Seven percent. So now. Uh, a lot of these, nearly half of these voters, a lot of them are probably Democrats, are 65 and older. Uh, and you'd think, you know, m maybe these high-risk older people are Republicans. No, they're Democrats, and that's great news for the Democrats. Only 7% of these are the younger voters. That's great news for them. That means that they're making inroads with the uh, older vote, which is which has been harder for them to do. Now, this is mostly for, this is for the most part female, which is... Uh, you know, but 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 they're but Hillary Clinton she won the female vote by thirteen percent in twenty sixteen. Biden is polling at twenty three percent, twenty three percent ahead of Donald Trump. Uh, right now, uh, basically the Democrats are outperforming. Uh, they're winning the early vote by fourteen percent in terms of raw party registration, uh, and the female vote is ten percent ahead for them. So they're overperforming by around four percent. So that's good news for them. Uh. I need to close my door. And these are not small numbers, by the way. These are not small numbers at all. Look at the uh, amount of ballots that have been returned. We are seeing uh, 3.6 million ballots have, have been returned, and the Democrats are winning. How many people voted in the 2016 Florida presidential election? Let's see how many people voted. In total, about 10 million. A third of those ballots, and the Democrats are winning by 14%. That is nothing to laugh at. Like, in a state like, okay, they're winning in California, big deal. No, they're winning in Florida, and that's going to be very hard for Donald Trump to overcome. Now, I understand the Demo the early voting will favor the Democrats, and I, and I said that, and I said, you know, if the Democrats were tied, they're only winning by 2%, that would be a cause for concern. Michigan is a cause for concern for the Democrats. They are not doing well at all in the early votes in Michigan. Uh, but as of right now, how do I get rid of this stupid? But as of right now, in Florida, they're doing very, very well. And now we're going to take a look at the polling data. The debate just ended. I'm going to post this the day after. Uh, new election prediction coming out, by the way. But the, the polling data from RCP, which does actually lean to the right, has put Biden up consistently. He was up by 8% back in July. Yeah, but that was the summer. The Democrats do very well in the summer. Michael Dukakis was expected to win the twenty or the 1988 presidential election based on the summer polling. <clears throat> Donald Trump narrowed it up to a point where towards the end of September, he was within the margin of error. Not so much anymore. Joe Biden is surging in Florida. He's up by over 2%. The, the only poll to put him up is, is, is a Republican internal poll called Trafalgar. These are internal polls. Put him up by two. We'll see all the polling from, uh, from, RC, from RCP. Biden plus four. Biden plus five. Biden plus four. And we're going to pull up the uh, polling data from uh, Florida polls 5, 538. Uh, I don't want football. I mean, I like football, but I don't want... Um, and we're going to take a look at the polls. Uh, the, the 538 average has it up by four. Uh, the one poll, uh, th from SurveyMonkey that, you know, had a big sample size, simply likely voters, this is a D-rated poll, 
they, they, they did two polls, one with the registered voters. The registered voter one actually put Biden ahead. But this one, morning consul, Biden had by seven. So the consistent trend, like, you can see, okay, I trust Trafalgar. By the way, Trafalgar overestimated the Republicans by a good amount in, in 2016 and in 2018. So I don't trust Trafalgar. In a, in, like, in a state like Michigan, I trust Trafalgar, but not in Florida, as I mentioned earlier. But right now, the polls in Florida look horrible for the president. The early vote looks pretty bad for him. And to be quite frank, I don't. he's not the favorite to win Florida. It's not like this is a surprise. The JHK forecast, let's see their projection in Florida. They give Biden a three and four chance of winning the, uh, the, the Florida race. Um, they've always had him had, I mean, back in, you know, back in March, Trump was the favorite, but old stuff has changed. They expect Biden to win by nearly 4%, 4%. In 2016, that would have been crazy. It's going to be 1% for either candidate. And now we're going to take a look at lean toss-up. They were incredibly accurate in 2019. This is a Canadian election website. In Safra- in, it may seem surprising, but, you know, they think Biden's going to win Texas and Ohio and Georgia and Iowa. You know, they got 2019, uh, they got the gubernatorial elections correct. They, they got the 2019 Canadian elections correct. They put Biden ahead in Florida by nearly 5%. They say it's a likely Biden pickup, a likely Biden pickup. Now, I'm not saying Florida's a lock for Joe Biden, but I'm giving you guys an update on the early vote. The early vote looks great for Joe Biden. He's winning. And let me just say, uh, Florida, the exit polls so far uh, that we've seen, uh, very limited. The, the Hispanic vote is a little bit better for Biden than, than most people expected. Um, the, the older vote, as, as we went over, is a lot better uh, f- for the Democrats. Th- th- because Joe Biden is, is is gaining a lot of votes that Hillary Clinton didn't get in the panhandle from older voters, mostly because of Trump's handling of COVID-19, but also because Hillary Clinton was just so polarizing. Uh, there are a lot of Republicans who really don't like Trump who voted for him in 2016, but are seeing him like, you, you know, I'll, I'll settle for Biden because I think he's a good person. There are a lot of people who thought the, Trump literally branded Hillary Clinton as, as crooked Hillary. Uh, you know, she can't, he, she has nicknames for Joe Biden, sure, but he literally, he doesn't, like, he doesn't, um, he doesn't necessarily, he doesn't make, make the same, uh, he doesn't talk the same way about Joe Biden, if that makes sense. He doesn't call him dishonest, he doesn't say that he's a liar, he doesn't say all this. And I'm gonna get a comment, you know, like, I get these comments from both Democrats and Republicans, they're, they're gonna say, you know, Joe Biden is a crook, Donald Trump should be in jail, whatever. I, I, I ignore those comments, but... Um, Donald Trump has not has not attempted to brand Joe Biden this late in the race as a crook, you know, or anything like that, the way he did to Hillary Clinton. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. This is fairly short, but as of right now, Joe Biden in Florida doing very, very well. So guys, please hit the like button. By the way, um, before I wrap this up, and I'm going to give a lot of reasons why he's going to win Florida. Ron DeSantis, not popular. The Latino vote, better than expected for him. Polls have him up in Jackson. The polls have him, have him up all across the state, and they were spot on in 2016. They predicted a Trump victory. He won, according to the RCP average. What else happened? Well, uh, he – and by the way, th- these polls, the average Biden up by two, that makes sense. He's gaining on Hillary Clinton. He, he's maintaining her support with Latinos, maybe losing a little bit. He is gaining in the suburbs. He's gaining in Jacksonville. He's gaining in Tampa, maybe losing a couple thousand votes in, in Miami-Dade County, but he's gaining hundreds of thousands up in Jacksonville and Tampa combined. He's gaining with the seniors. He's going to win the state. I don't think by 2%. I think it'll be more like less than 1%. But this makes sense. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please be sure to smash that like button. Let's get to 100 likes on this video. Let's show how strong we are. Um, and tell me what you think in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.